stronger state than you would think. Shout out yes. to New Hampshire. Good competitive <laughs> state right there. Going against Armadillo, though, it's going to be Joker going up against Lucario, of course. Armadillo known as one of the best, if, if not the best, Lucarios in the biz, Koopa. Yes, absolutely. Definitely made a name for himself uh, during the Smash Bowl tour uh, of last year. Uh, yeah, that's one of the qualifiers from uh, the Toronto area for the East Coast part of the United States. Yeah. And again, like you mentioned, definitely a top tier representative with this character. You know, yeah. uh, Lucario, a seldomly seen character. Definitely a matchup check for certain people if you're not paying attention. You have to get Lucario before he gets Ooh. you, man. Yeah. And right and now, Armadillo. Oh, oh, I love that he went for the down air. The reaction from Armadillo, though, that's one thing with Lucario. You cannot be giving up those stocks early. So good attempt there by Tyler, but Armadillo always ready to save himself for sure. Yeah, if there's one character that I definitely think is well-equipped to deal Ooh. with Lucario before he reaches max aura power, it's Joker. Especially with Arsene, you're going to see a lot of these stocks maybe explode at, you know, sub 100, around the 100, 120 area. Yep, yep. Where you want to see it. And losing that first stock at 1... Uh, uh, 30 though, 87% uh, is just enough range to get the job done if you're Tyler. Sure, yeah. If they're Armadillo. The other thing to keep in, in, tra in, my, uh, in mind here, chat, when talking about Tyler, he does play a lot of different top tiers in this game. He's got an eight just ready to go. Also a Joker, obviously, that we're seeing on screen now. So might see, especially since Collision. Hey, shout out to Collision, all best of five. Shout out to Max Ketchum, too, for starting that wave, honestly. Uh, at Let's Make Big Moves. So all best of five here. So you might see a, a lot, a myriad of characters coming out from Tyler. I didn't know it would be Joker first, honestly. I thought we'd see Aegis, but trying something different here. Yeah, definitely an interesting choice here, because, again, without Arsene, you know, Joker's not necessarily going to be able to maybe reach that damage threshold you want comfortably. Ooh. Almost getting the KO there, but, again, Lucario reaching the go. scary percents. The down air to the back air will connect their has, and all uh, that was feared is now gone for the time being. Yeah, and initially he was going for the up air follow-up, but instead tracing the DI, getting the back air, and getting the kill. That high of a percentage, either one of those is going to KO. You just got to find the one that's going to connect. It's good stuff. There you go. Dash attack will provide Armadillo with some stage control here. Nice read on the jump with the up air. And Tyler fighting his way back down with the back air. This is kind of the nice thing about fighting Lucario. He's going to have to hit you with something pretty strong. Yeah, that's why you're looking for those F smashes. Anything strong here to clear out the stock without that aura racking up. But again, the two things were, there you go, back air two in that position. Very nice placement there, Armadillo going up a big stock here in game one, Koopa. Oh, look at that sequence though, 36. Yeah. Incredible stuff. Damn. Again, Lucario has some, some good low percent bread and butters that you have to be wary of. And like you said, you know, Lucario is definitely does uh, uh, a little bit you know, better when he's behind in the game. But like you said, things like back air, forward air comes out so fast to rack of damage as well. You know, he's got a lot of tools. Ooh. You must respect Ooh. great leg shrimp right there, but not going to be able to Ooh. get the KO. Second time around, though, Hazmat, not going to let him get the by him. back air since it came out, Koopa. It's just been an exceptional tool for this character, Joker. Tyler Absolutely. right back in this, whipping that grab, though. Could get punished big time. Has to tech. Look at all that meter getting depleted right now for Arsene. Yeah, good use of the beer reverse aura sphere there. Recognizing that Tyler's going to jump, uh, but maybe try to get at his advantage. Mm -hmm. Moving around here, neutral air, looking for the F smash, trying to catch him, getting greedy off the ledge. Or just trying to bypass it in total. But here we go. Aura sphere cancel again, too. Oh my god, he does find that one, though. Going to clear it out. And it's the same thing with Armadillo. It's not only about holding on to your stocks for very long, but it's about winning the game when you don't have that much rage and aura, right? Yeah, being able to find those big F smashes, being able to clear out stocks and not put yourself in that critical position where you have max rage and max aura, but you're fighting against like an Arsene Joker in this case, which is really scary. 103% is really great for Vanilla Lucario. Options limited here. Good pause right there and getting the strong F smash in the corner. Doesn't, doesn't matter if he's got a lot of rage or aura, that's gonna definitely kill. 100% yeah. Koopa. You've seen time and time again in those in pos those positions where you miss a tech in that, you know, that sort of like uh, led to like third quarter stage scenario. Yeah. And it's either you get the tech and then you go, uh, you know, you follow suit or you see what happens there, miss the tech and you're kind of jailed out no matter what happens to you. So yeah. the, that S-Mash was just the right amount of spacing to get the job done uh, for Armadillo. So let's see what adjustments Tyler can make here going into game two. Uh, it, is so, it is going to be town and city. Uh, yeah. Let us see if uh, you know some different platform layouts, some different stage terrain might make a difference here in the matchup. A little more space might try to camp him out a little bit. Go to the gun. You know what I'm saying? You got to do what you got to do. But the thing with gun, it's going to rack up damage over time slowly for Lucario, which he hey he does not hate to yes. see that. That's for sure. <laughs> right. Okay, Joker's dash is so broken. By the way, <laughs> by the way, in case that. you forgot, goes underneath Ken's light up tilt. I'm just saying. Tyler and I have played before. I've played this Joker before. It's very good. 
However, we're talking about Armadillo right now. Oh, looking for the F smash. Love the idea to try to clear out the stock, but instead Armadillo returning the favor. Very nice. Yeah, back air meeting its market. It is super effective. That move has been very, very reliable. Ooh, ooh. Armadillo, speaking of backers, good stuff, good stuff. There it is. Opportunist right there. Close blast zone. Even without the R set, that is certainly going to do it. Low percent grab combos. Okay, only 15. Take it, though. A little lead here for Tyler and working on extending it here. Yeah, trying to get something going off that Nair combo, but not going to be able to get it. Missing the uh, Aura Sphere cancel. That could have been huge stuff for Armadillo. And that's a little change Ooh. here in the corner Ooh. from Tyler. Love the heat check forward yeah. smash to kind of keep Armadillo honest He's there. thrown out a couple F smashes so far. A pair of them. They haven't found the mark yet, but you can see I love the mentality against Lucario. I'm going to be swinging. Yeah, uh -oh. you got to show that fearlessness sometime, man. It is huge. Yeah, and I love this lead that Tyler's built because now he'll have Arsene in a position where he can get a kill with it, add a good percentage, and take a stock lead. Very close right there. The perfect DI from Armadillo. Boom! That move is enormous against Extreme Speed. We've seen it twice so far. Once in Game 1 and now again in Game 2. Really good stuff there. Both corners in this game, Koopa, have been huge for Tyler. <laughs> Your plus six by already means nothing here, sir. Yeah, You're absolutely. Dead. Absolutely. <laughs> Get that out of here. <laughs> Get him out of here. All right, there we go. There you go. Nice little lead. Like you mentioned, build up here. Nice drag down onto the platform there. Recognizing the position needs to maybe extend that combo a little bit further. And Armadillo now kind of forced to play catch up here. Yeah, the thing here is two options. If you start to rack up some good damage, you got to watch out for the kill moves for Armadillo. However, he could get another ascent on the board with a good uh, Rebel's Guard. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So there's a lot, so much to keep track of in this matchup in terms of how Arsene is doing and how the, the aura rage is going on the Lucario side, just waiting underneath. Good job. Yeah, it's a lot of resource management on both sides. You really got to be paying attention to, uh, you know, where your opponent's, uh, you know, rage meters at. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. Oh my <laughs> god, the aura spear cancel into the aerial. Very nice stuff. Armadillo, that's the thing, is it's not just like, wow, Lucario's scary with Rage and Aura. It's like Armadillo's scary every day of the week. Yeah. It doesn't matter if he's out. Oh my god, he tried. Okay. Talk about the blast zones being close right there, Koopa. That could have been curtains for Tyler's. You know, nice looking game two right here. Trying to close it out. Ooh, nice extreme speed into the ground right there. Us utilizing that hitbox perfectly. Yep, yep. Perry on the nair. And now Tyler, once again, like you said, Hazmat has enough Arsene meter. Frame trapping, he's got those. Up smash, not enough, though. This yep. is where Lucario steals games, Koopa, yes. I got to say. This Ooh, is okay. where Lucario steals games. And you saw him tech in that scenario, uh, too, so recognizing that if he missed that tech, there's a good chance he probably could have died there. Wow, back air again is going to do it right from center stage this time. Tyler avoiding Lucario at the end of the game right there, not letting it happen. He, he didn't want it to be him, you know what I mean? Yeah. Don't let it be you, yeah. and he didn't. <laughs> Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, I'm banned in that stage. Let's be real for a second, Koopa, too. We have one of the best prizes in Smash history on the line here. A ticket to the last summit. Yeah. Both these players want to stay alive, stay in that winner's bracket for as long as they can. Names like Esam, uh, Sonics, trying to fight for that prize. These two, trying to cause some damage in the bracket, get as far as they can. And I got to say, both these players immaculate. They could definitely make it to that day three tomorrow. Absolutely, yeah. Both these guys have the potential to go on a long run here, as we see you know, some highlights from the last set as well. And again, like you mentioned, resource management, so huge in his game. You, you know, recognizing when Lucario is probably at his most dangerous. I did not have Aura Sphere cancel up there on my bingo card today. I will say that much on that replay. Just look at how quick that is. My gosh. Mm -hmm, well, it's mm -hmm. already been a great year for Lucario, you know, on Ash Ketchum's championship winning team. Uh, it's been a very, very... You know, a, a good couple months for Lucario. Uh, you know, now I find sure. myself in a 1 1 clip here. Uh, but like you mentioned, the best of five is on the table here. Oh, okay. So, uh, you know, Armadillo is a true Pokemon. He's going to the music right now. Making his. Oh, great song. Okay. Great yeah. song. It's Phenom going to be FD for the counter pick, by the way. You got that on the screen, but. Big set right here between Tyler. Like we said, Tyler and Armadillo. Armadillo. I think most well known for playing Tweak on the stream, you know, and just being an exceptional yes. player all around, but that's a part of it. This player does very, very well against Tweak, one of the best in the business, obviously, Armadillo himself. Well-established player here going against Tyler, a player who I think, I think chat has started calling him 90% win Tyler, because that's yeah. what he's known as, <laughs> which is pretty great. So 90% win, have. that's the thing, it's like, look, you can win. <laughs> <laughs> Little name update for you, chat. Chat is production. Killing it as always, Devin. All right, let's go. Game yeah. three here, FD. What do you think, Koopa? Uh, you know, I think there's going to be a lot more of an honest neutral fight here. Obviously, that's what you expect to see in FD. No platforms to extend your combos or to help you recover, you know, back to the stage. So Ooh. I feel like, I, you know, Armadillo is kind of betting on himself here. Ooh. But um, does not get the up the smash follow up, yeah. unfortunately. Well, this is, and this is, let's talk about the huge moment right here. They're fighting for stock lead with Arsene and enough aura and rage on the board right now. This is a huge situation for the set, <laughs> arguably crossing him up with a back air, though. 
Yeah, the office flow chart, flow chart just went crazy right there. Oh, Ooh. goes for the counter. I thought he'd go for the down air, but instead getting an F tilt. Look how strong that is with the rage and the aura. Tyler over committing there, not able to find the mark was yeah. huge. And Wings of Rebellion, very easy to two frame. So, you Ooh. Know. Ooh. wait, okay, wait a second. Oh, okay, all right. Well, we got 17 for that, by the way. Damn. <laughs> Damn. That's an uncharged like F smash for most characters. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about, too. That situation where Tyler got reversal. Now we're talking stock lead, Aura, Rage, Lucario. This is yeah. really scary. You can. This is easy where it's like, damn, we were dead even on the first stock. What happened? Now I'm down two stocks to nothing. That could easily happen here. And it's starting to rack up. Look at that. The force palm over the ledge. I love that. Yeah, you're a bad, damn. You're a bad exchange away from either looking at an avalanche or a light dusting. Ooh, there you go. That backer is huge right there. That, the yeah. whole momentum of the game hey. could have shifted on that stock like you mentioned has. And good stuff from Tyler, able to right the ship. At least get on the board here. Uh, in game three. Let's be real, that back air is huge everywhere. Covers up the whole damn screen, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, yeah, you Let's be real, there. let's be real. <laughs> I cannot Again. dispute fact. This is where Armadillo shines too. Again, the lower percentage, able to find the kills when he can. But right now, Tyler's racking up the damage, starting to come back a little bit. Look at him baiting out aerials, spacing and punishing them, playing nice and slow, even though he got blown up on the first stop. Good mentality. Yeah, you see the good usage of f -tilt right here to catch these landings, good usage of gun to bait some approaches. Gets the catch on the recovery there, and now Tyler has, has set up nicely. Nice. Good shield work there. Armadillo is swinging in front of the ledge a lot and defending himself. Tyler was ready for it this time. Back Ooh. air, though. Good scoop. Like you said, that backer hits from everywhere. Nice! What an angle off of the stage and another reversal. Tyler going off stage and making and Armadillo makes him pay for it twice so far in this game three. Yeah, very excellent stuff right there. Gets the drag down and the up smash. So Tyler wasting no time getting it down to a last stock scenario here, Hazmat. On the rubber game, this is super huge going into game four. Right. And again, the FD counter pick, Armadillo is looking good. Fight through here, marching through. <laughs> well, and then he does three aerials with zero rage and aura, and it does 16. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> Lucario's just, he's so different, man. Math, baby. A lot of mentality. I'm playing against him and as him. You got to keep your mental unlocked the entire time. Things like this are going to happen. So Arsene comes out pretty early right here. Tyler's going to have to hit him a couple times before he's ready to get a kill. Armadillo, though, what a turnaround. What a back uh -oh. air, by the way. This is trouble for, oh, he jumps into it. Oh, no. Oh, he goes oh really gosh. low, turbo low. He makes it back. That could have been huge right there for Armadillo, but now... Wait, wait, wait. The, uh -oh. I was going to say, Arsene's going to run out, so Tyler went pretty high there. Gets right. the grapple recover, though. Holding shield and rolling. Good timing. Yeah, I was going to say, what the option selector could have been very dangerous if you're Tyler. Wow. Goes for the wow. smash. Nice parry. Looking for an F smash and then getting a parry in the Aura Sphere. Tyler spacing out with these four tilts. Hold on. Good opportunity. He goes oh, turbo oh, low oh. again. He makes it back, though. Oh, he reaches with an up smash. Tyler is swinging, but he can't connect. Armadillo is so evasive. Trying okay. to catch him jumping, but he falls right into the Aura Sphere. Perfect spacing, but he's barely living right now. Yeah, two count coming out. But again, one more hit like that, and it's going to spell curtains. Oh, oh my oh, god, oh, does oh. that connect? Is it kills? Yes, it does. Tyler waiting out that up B. Very good stuff. The spacing, the timing, precision right there, Koopa. He, moved, he whipped a couple, but he still had no fear there in closing out that game three with one. Yeah, you kind of worry when you see in those last stock scenarios, players just kind of start swinging. It feels like you're playing more to not lose than you are, to, uh, you know, to win. But you see right there, oh, just being able to get the S match out it. before Lucario is able to get. Looks like he was uh, winding up for an S match as well. Still bold as hell going off stage against this Lucario too. That's a thing you can't be afraid. He got reversal twice in that set. Stay true to the plan because when Lucario is that close to the blast zone, you've got to take an opportunity to strike. Absolutely. You let Lucario with rage and aura come back to the stage, put his feet on the ground, start getting into some of that nasty Lucario stuff. You're going to be dropping sets to him, no question. Alrighty, game four is upon us. Looks like small battlefield. Will be the sage yep, here. Yep. Armadillo taking a deep breath, taking his time. Oh, as we're taking 100% <laughs> Tyler. 100% win rate Tyler now. The percentage is going up, Hazmat. Uh huh, uh huh. All that stuff is extra credit. Can small, you do it? Small battlefield, man. I know these games have been very close. Every single one of them has been going right down to the wire chat. I have a feeling we'll be see the same thing here in game four. Going into small battlefield, Koopa. Let's get into it. And again, we saw how big those first couple stocks are, too, for the momentum in this matchup. They always yeah. are in ultimate. They always are in pretty much any game, taking that first big lead or the first substantial lead, holding on to it. But especially against a character like Lucario or Arsene with Joker, means even more. Yeah, these characters with sort of rubber band AI abilities to kind of help them get back into the flow of the game. You know, how you start is so crucial. Yeah. You know, to you know, making sure you set a good foundation for yourself. Wow. I can't believe that's good. That move is insanity, by the oh, way. Yeah. You paid good money for that dash attack, man. It's true. It's true. Pull six bucks, man. It'll go <laughs> a long way <laughs> This economy, days. that's like eight now. It's true. <laughs> Ooh, Up smash those scooping. Wow. Barely kills two. 
knowing the percentages and when kill moves are going to kill, very important. Yeah, that's a Yankee Stadium home run type. Yeah, uh, yeah very true, very blast. true. Uh, able to just get out in the first row of seats. And again, that's huge. This but is big for Armadillo, too. Exactly. I was just going to bring up, you know, as huge as it is for Tyler to get the lead. Wait. Oh! oh do it, do it, do it. Commit. Oh, yes, he did. And he can make it back. Mercy. Yes, he made it back. Commit to that all day, baby. Again, Tyler, opportunist, and you got to be one of those against Lucario. Sealing that stock was huge, but here comes Armadillo marching right back. That's how you got to respond, Koopa. Yeah, exactly. You know, you cannot let the, the, the table go full tilt to this position if you're Armadillo. You got to take it one stock at a time. You know, I mean, now you're going to be stacked with, you know, uh, full rage and aura odds against you. So let's see if Armadillo is going to be able to get the key hits he needs yep. to get himself back in the swing of things. Let's see how Tyler plays with a lead this big, too. We haven't really seen that yet this set, Koopa. Yes. Play nice and patiently, force Armadillo to approach and get caught up by any of his tricky movement. These F tilts are hitting, Koopa. He's 90% win rate in New Hampshire. He's got 90% accuracy on these F tilts, too. Yeah, he's uh, coming up solid on any one of these landing traps that he's really needed to get. And again, like you mentioned, we haven't seen, the, see him play with a lead this okay, big yet. Right, well, and it's looking like very safe pressure. Now he'd just be F tilt. Yeah. Looking like a Belmont, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Throwing that out there. Change, baby. Okay, Ooh. good trade, though. It's going to keep him in that corner. Down smash, very nice. Looking like Tyler's set to win here. Good air dodge from Armadillo. He was trying to trade with a hit over the ledge, so Armadillo air dodged and said it was able to live just a little bit longer. Like we said, one of the best things Armadillo has as a player is his survivability because he can steal stocks right now. Joker 89, he might as well be at nine, 999. Yep. And now we're in a last stock situation like we talked about, Koopa. Yep, can you get the blow you need? Uh, to, you know, net your ticket into the next round of winners, Hazmat. It's going to be really tight here. Again, it's an old well, cliche. This is essentially an even game. Oh, he misses the jab lock right there. Good job, Armadillo, getting out of that tight corner. The crazy thing is that Lucario can get a kill before Arsene even pops up right here, too. It's possible. It's very possible. Back air. Oh, he interrupted it, though. The back air has been so good for Tyler. He, he's going to get another Arsene. He's going to get Arsene here. Very soon. Oh, wait. Drag down didn't work. There it is. Yeah, our set is out. This is exactly what Tyler needs right now. Bring in the huge, closer. Huge, to close huge, huge. Oh, he didn't get it up there. That's going to do oh it. I told gosh. you. Armadillo, comeback master. Like I said, man, you can never count him out. Hell of a set from Armadillo, taking that one down from the depths, too. Wow. Damn. Incredible stuff, man. Like, like if you told me, you know, two minutes ago that Armadillo was going to come back and win that set. Of course, though. Of it's course, huge, again, right? You know, how that game started, a three-stock to one lead, like, that was, those comebacks don't happen every day. But like There's, I just mentioned, Armadillo, so, you know, again, playing to his game, not letting it get ahead of him, and knowing that with Lucario, any lead is, is surmountable. It's very true. It's, he's got to be one of the best, if not straight up the best comeback characters in the game, just because of uh, aura and rage. Yeah. Not the strongest character in the game, obviously, but when he's like that, watch out. You gotta respect him. Let's take a look at the triple dunk here that set up that huge lead for Tyler, and you start thinking, okay, you know, maybe I, maybe Tyler gets a little complacent as you see Armadillo taking his time, let his heart rate kind of come back to earth a little bit. Yeah, you smart, know, I, smart. Yeah. I like it. I yeah, like it. I, I, I agree. You, I wish more players did this sort of thing where, you know, the adrenaline's rushing through you. You don't want to just jump into the next set. Give yourself time, give your body time to kind of simmer back down a little bit because you need to make sure you're thinking clearly when you get into this crucial game five. Top 256, man. Both these players are winners. Yeah. There's no surprise by that, of course. But we have a hell of a set coming up again. It's gonna be it's gonna be the Joker again locking in, of course. Like we said, Tyler's a couple of characters, but uh if I'm not mistaken, Armadillo also plays Aegis quite a bit. Like for, I for, like, correct, for the yes. bad matchups, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like the bad, <laughs> bad matchups. That's a bad match. That's what I'm saying, dude. We're not gonna see any of those small battlefield two. Tyler, I mean, you got to think of, oh, footstool down air. Oh, man, in the tech chase with turn around with Beer. Yeah, everybody's he's a leaving. Chef. He's a chef, bro. You're leaving everything on the table here, man. Yeah. You know, every, at, at this point, it's game five. Uh, you have to let it, you know, let it all move at this point if you have not. Pivot grab right there. A little extra range follow up. Oh, Woo! the neutral air. Didn't know when to tech or when he's going to fall off the platform. Good mix up there from Armadillo. It's easy to go for up air there or, or forward air and just push him off. But that was really good mix. And the double hit, good damage. Yep. Love that. Yeah, Armadillo looking very solid to start this game, but now Tyler starting to come back, has Arson to kind of aid him and maybe, you know, stealing Ooh, a kill under, under the hood here. Great movement there from Armadillo, too. Oh, he oh. smashes forward smash. I think he might have been trying to go for forward air or something, but either way that worked out. Go for the trump and a back air, but the down air beats it out. It's a very, very Ooh. quick move, that down air. And he really, again, just reversals Tyler. We've seen it throughout this whole set, Koopa. This could be, man. Yep. Or Sphere canonically never misses Hazmat, so that was a great usage of it right there. True. Okay, forward air, what's he got? Double, okay. I like it. 
Yeah, not in a good position to get the, the drag down follow-up, but so continue to fight here, does not get the down smash. And Arsene back already, but is it gonna matter? Oof, chasing him down into the blast zone, going for that super deep back edge guard. Air. Now that back air, dude, that was, that's was that been the money move for Tyler since game yeah. one. It's so good against Extreme Speed, Lucario off stage. I mean, it's good against everyone off yeah. stage, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't care what character you are, it's really good against you. Yeah, I guess it's just enormous. Ooh, so much close quarter combat right now. Both players do just not want to give up the big hit. Yeah, that, that Arsene at the end too, he recognized that it was just barely gonna run out, get a couple guns in, you don't wanna approach Lucario foolishly, right? The roll on right there, instant timing, the grab is gonna get a big punish right now for Tyler, good opportunity. What's he gonna do though? Armadillo has been so good at fighting out of the corner. Yeah, F-Tilt going to the right nice. a little bit more. Damn, his angles are so clean. Yeah, they, they look really good. But of course, though, right? Like he's been, he, Armadillo has been the guy on Lucario for so long. Yeah, like he's mentioned, you know, probably the, the Lucario that yeah. it comes to mind if you ask me. Getting out of the way right there, Tyler giving him some respect that he's earned. You know what I'm saying throughout the whole set. Yeah. Th there's a low profile on the dash yeah. again, by the way. <laughs> Just insanity. That might be the most deal. Well, our set exists too, but to say the most DLC thing about Joker is hurt box shifts, but also <laughs> our set. Where he, do I start? Either way, yeah, right. <laughs> you definitely get your money's worth. That's like good economy choices right yeah, there. You oh, know what yeah. I'm saying? Good, oh, God. good business 50 investment. 50 to 40, okay. Insane stuff. And again, this is kind of sort of the sweet spot if you're Lucario. But Neutral Arsene, air again. Yeah, Arsene on board, so this is huge for Tyler. He might not get another Arsene after this nice. half, Matt. He's rolled through that a couple times, even though he's mixing up the timing. Easy react right there for Lucario just to toss up the Aura Sphere. Tyler needs to make this Arsene hit, and he knows it too. But now he's in danger of just getting two stock. Yes, and he does it. Pop up from Armadillo. Very clean game five there from him too. Very good bounce back, because he was down. On the verge of getting two stocked in game, or three stocked in game four, but instead, like we said, he's Lucario, man. He can easily, not easily, but he can make those comebacks. Yeah, Very good stuff, very like, clean. Like I mentioned, Lucario, if probably the best character in regards to just having the pure comeback factor, you know, yeah. Aura by itself, when it was, you know, as a concept, already really good. You mix that in with Rage, and it just makes for a really, really solid combination of being able to, you know, kind of uh, give yourself a puncher's chance in any sort of fight you get yourself into. And you saw yeah. well, how great, of, uh, you know, how solid of a game, uh, you know, both players playing on both ends here. But it is going to be Armadillo that moves on in winner's side. It's one of the things I love about Ultimate, for sure, is seeing these top-level representatives of characters that you never really see. I also love yep. seeing someone that's very talented like Tyler play a bunch of top tiers and just trying to make that work out, too. Can't hate on that, obviously. No. So, loves just seeing top-level play, but especially when it comes to unique characters like that. So, good stuff. What's up, chat, by the way? How's yeah. everyone doing? Hope you guys are having a great Saturday night. We're living it up here. Collision 2023. Got to fix my hair real quick. You already know what it is, Jack. Yeah, I am super happy to be here at Collision 2023. Super happy that everyone is back in the Tri-State area. We are yep. about 20 minutes from where I grew up. Uh, I've had sure. many a Christmas party here in this venue. For Cooper my, for my day job. It's all yeah. good. Hey, man, it's fine. 20 oh, cool. minutes can go a lot of places. You know what I'm saying? Could go like 20 minutes in a couple directions. It's all what up? Day. What up? But, uh, yeah, what up, chat? I, I hope you guys are having as good a time as we are. Who do we have uh, winning? Who's playing next? Who we got next? Looks like we oh, have... Oh, Light and Beast. Hot Settler is what I got to say. Oh, we're being lied to. We're all being lied to. Oh. What up, chat? Oh, Tweak? Uh, I've never really heard of Tweak before. No, <laughs> Tell me about Jules. No. A New York Steve. A New York Steve. So this is interesting, too, because this is going to be one of the last tournaments with a lot of Steve available, for sure. Yes, yeah. Uh, Steve, obviously, the if hot any topic. Steve at all, if any, yes. Steve, obviously, the hot topic of conversation uh, as of late. And also, Min Min uh, on the side as well. And uh, with Tweak, it's probably going to be Diddy Kong. You know, if I were to guess, I'm no, I'm, I'm not a betting. I don't know. <laughs> Could be. Could be Sephiroth. Tweak. Who? I don't know. You got me. <laughs> Who? <laughs> it looks like it is. <laughs> uh, well, well, Tweak's interesting because he has had an, he's one of those, I feel like there were a certain group of players who had a really hard time with Steve uh, when he started really rising to power, yeah. and Tweak fell into that group 100%, but he grinded that sure. matchup a lot, and I think a lot of the conventional wisdom 18 months ago was that Sephiroth beat Steve, and I think everyone realized that Sephiroth dies at like 30, so that might not be true. Definitely, you know a, rough, definitely a rough draw for sure, so... We'll I see. Don't, it's it's tough, man. We will definitely see. You know, if anybody can do it, it is tweaked.